your life. I just want to hear amen. The world is facing numerous challenges that include wars and political unrest, incessant family neglect, to mention but a few that seem beyond money's understanding and ability to seek outstanding solutions to solve them. In lieu of this and the need to help address such issues, Miracle Center Cathedral Church organized a prayer conference for women evangelists across Africa seeking Jesus' intervention. The three-day conference aimed to tackle violation of human rights, sexual harassment and gender-based violence among other barriers. A team of evangelists hailing from Zimbabwe, Zambia, Namibia, Kenya, Tanzania and Rwanda were among the panelists who graced this year's special event. I can't tell you. A lot of people sit here. We are here because we know that that thing in itself is an invitation to a new season for all of us and everybody that is coming for this conference. And so we know that after this conference, our life shall never be the same again. The chief organizer also host Pastor Jessica Kayanja is optimistic this serves a befitting foundation to address the world's common pressing issues. Um, we encourage the women as much as possible to stay in their homes but we do not advocate for violence and once violence violence right we have to, we have it out of our home where we can keep these women uh, temporarily until they have a skill and they can survive in their children so as much as we encourage because you know the bible says that God hates divorce as much as we encourage women to stay under the circumstances and be financially independent Advocate Pastor Jessica Kayanja through her girl power ministries has over time engaged in initiatives aimed at eliminating challenges faced by the girl child through empowerment. We have testimonies of, uh, of, of, of girls that we have educated and, um, and, 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 and those that were not able to go back to school um, to do the, the normal traditional education we have offered. Uh, another type of education, they have gone to technical institutes and they're doing something in their lives. And um, I've talked about the financial empowerment and some of them have been social. So the social is, is the, the children have, have been really young, we have resettled in families after we have taken them from our homes. The sessions were to help improve understanding and communication between people with different opinions, something that attracted many's attention. Amwaevanjuko for UBC.